To the Lustig House. We're celebrating Oktoberfest a day early or two, if you don't mind. You know, we just couldn't wait. The refrigerator was overflowing with beer. We had to get started. I mean, we just can't let that happen. Got to drink it, right? <laughs> overflowing? Overflow. Oh, well, I mean, I could barely shut the well, door. Well, I guess on. you restocked it. I did. I did. And, and I had to get them all in there. Anyway, so um, welcome, y'all. I see a lot of friends online already out there tonight. Uh, some who are having us at their houses just this weekend, uh, Daniel and Carol Williams. And um, we have, uh, we'll be with Amanda and Cody on Saturday. And then next weekend we'll be with the, with the Schultz family up in Schwartz family up in Oklahoma. We're, we're just, oh my gosh, we're so excited to be here with you guys today. Um, we've been doing more stuff Kansas out City in Brewery. public and, and Kansas City Brewery. I don't know if they're online tonight, but we're going to be there in a couple of weeks. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, and, and, and Seagies in, in Tulsa, I'm, I'm running out. I have more to say than there's time to say it, so we should play music instead. <laughs> but before we do that, uh, someone was asking me the other day on our on our uh, news feed when I put up the, the promotion for today's show, they said, we, we like what you're doing, but you know, how many prosits is too many? Well, every time you take a sip, you should do a proper I'm prosit. There's well, no is such it, what thing. What is it they say about <laughs> When's the last time you had Wolf Brand chili? <laughs> well, that's too long. <laughs> well, with the prosits, I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, as long as there's still beer in your mug, you should be prosting it. So let's get toasted together, huh? <laughs> I'm prosy, I'm prosy, tag a British I'm prosy, I'm prosy, tag a Love that sound. Oh, yeah. So we already the only have... time you can have too many prosits is if your beer keg is empty. Yeah, if the beer keg's empty, stop prosting. Then you gotta start you gotta call for another one. Yeah. I mean it's okay to toast what you already swallowed, I guess. Why not? <laughs> you still got a beer keg empty, right here. If it's empty, there's nothing to swallow. That's true. But but if you drank it, see? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand where you're going with this. I'm just always happy about the beer, whether I've had it to drink or, or I'm going to drink it. Mm. Beer makes me happy. So um, we had a bunch of requests, some that came in last week that we didn't get to because I didn't see them on the queue, and one of them because I had it written down and left my list sitting elsewhere in the house. Um, so let's do Lily And she Marlene. doesn't make sure that I have a list, so yeah, I have no I, way of backing her up. Well, when I write it on the grocery list, it, it well, you know, making another copy, I like to reduce, reuse, recycle, so the less pieces of paper laying around, the better. Anyway. Lily Marlene was special requested by Wayne Stanfield, so I'd like to play that now. Or I'd like Ross to play it now, and then I'll sing it. So leave uns warten, das sah man gleich daraus. Und alle Leute so müssen wir wieder bei der Eterne stehen. Mit dir, wir lieben Marlene, wie einst, wir lieben Marlene. Thank you. 
Prinzip, eine Zirrendung. Alle Arten Prinzip, doch nicht für Gassila. Und es sollte mir ein Leid gesehen bewirkt, mit der Laterne stehen mit dir. Wir leben mal hier mit dir. Wir leben mal hier. Aus dem Stillen Heb je mich in die Träume, dein verliebe Mond. Dann sich die Städten neben drehen der Dier. Und der Eterne steht mit dir. Wir leben mal hier mit dir. Wir leben mal hier. Underneath the lamplight by the barricade. Darling, I remember. play it that way yeah, with our drummer <laughs> i just ran out of stuff to say well let's do so i'm mumbling okay which one i'm always ready to bounce Elida. Elida. Should we do a Lichtenstein? Yeah, because we might get to the last drop before the show's over. Of course, there's more in the fridge. 
Here's the Liechtenstein polka. Ross is going to do it as a solo because I see a lot of comments coming up over here, and I want to, I want to see what everybody's asking for. of people have mentioned that the uh, audio and the video are not synced up <laughs> oh well, well i guess the new... that's a facebook problem that we cannot control i i think it's out of our our uh, our monitor in the studio is showing us that everything is is in sync so it's probably something with facebook and they you know it's been every last few shows we've noticed that the commenting has been difficult for us anyway that has gotten better this week. I noticed that that improved. Really? So now there's another bug in the system, I guess. Anyway, um, we hope you don't mind that we're a little out of sync with, with what you hear for what you see. Um, that'll make the YouTube video really interesting. Because um, <laughs> it apparently saves that way, too. But, uh, hey, the more... Well, I don't know, because sometimes we have seen things that go awry. And That's true. Yeah. Watch the video back and everything was and just the way it was fine. supposed to be. Yeah. So. Who knows? But the more you drink, the more it'll look like it's supposed to, so it won't matter, right? <laughs> so we have quite a few videos to show tonight, and I forgot to write myself a list of which video is what and what order they're in. So I'm going to comment on them after we play each one of them. But uh, we took some footage. Do you want to show one of them? Right. Or do well, you want to play the, the song first? I think... Uh, the first one is Alan and the Boys. Okay. First one is our uh, friends, the Alpha Music Continent. Ciao. Okay. That's Alpha Gloom. All right. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, a couple weekends ago, we were actually out in public with some of you. Um, we were at the Wahlberg. It wasn't a festival uh, weekend. <laughs> Officially, we were not allowed to call it a festival because, of course, of the, um, the COVID 
uh, guidelines. However, I don't think we went over the number of people that were allowed to be there for the amount of tables they had spaced eight feet apart from each other and uh, had a whole lot of fun, saw a whole lot of friends. And just this last week, I've gotten all the videos that we took and some of the photos that we took loaded up into the computer. So here, we're going to share some of those with you tonight. The first one up, Ross said, is the Alpen Musikanten, and they're playing Schaudas Alpenglun. You'll see some of yourselves and some of your friends out there on the dance floor. Uh, but yeah, you can see some of the fun we all had out there. And some of you are already reliving those happy memories. Um, yeah, that was a long-awaited weekend out and about in fresh air with friends, with good music. Um, let's do a song on the cowbells. I mean, I've, I've just heard one Alpine yodeler, and I want to do another Alpine yodeler. Uh, we should do the Kuhsteiner lead. So are you ready to go cuckoo with us? I mean, after all, at Oktoberfest, we all go cuckoo together. <laughs> It's important. It's an imperative. It's an imperative. It's required. It's required. Yes. Dead silence. Awkward. <laughs> what is that? After seven You're minutes. You have more than enough to say. I, 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 I am. I can never shut you up. I, that's true. But I never, see, I get started and then I have to stop. Okay, awkward silence is over. Here's Kupsteiner lead. <laughs> Okay. 
Chicken stew, deep in a deep in a tiro. So here's something I like to ask people when we're in person because, you know, it's funny. Can you say cuckoo while sticking your tongue out? Without biting it off. Without biting it off, without messing up the sound. It's got to, it, it, it looks like this. And you have to say cuckoo. Can you do it? Well, you're supposed to demo do, it. Do it. Come on, Ross. You can do it. You know how to do it. I haven't practiced it in a long time. I was going to get them to do it. Well... We can't see them, but they can see you. Oh. Why do I always get myself into these things? All right, fine. Hang on you a second. You volunteered yourself. I, I always. Yes! You can do it. Okay, you got to get the K in there, though. You ready? Nope, I can't do it. <laughs> you have to... You end up Coo -coo. chopping your tum off trying to <laughs> do the okay. K. So if you were if you were um, Coo -coo. successful, we'd like to see a video of you doing it. Just send us a Snapchat or something. It'd be fun. 
Anyway, back to that list. Of- back to that list. Yeah, we had a request for, um, let's see, we had a request for Viva Colonia last week from Rodney van Oudekerk. He was also out there dancing in Wahlberg a couple of weeks ago. He Along likes with, this uh, one. Debbie. Yeah, he was dancing with Debbie and 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 he and Greg. And, were and trained. Greg. Yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't like they were fighting over who was gonna dance with Debbie. It was like Debbie was fighting over which one of them was gonna get up away from their beer to go and dance with her. So it was beer or dance with Debbie. That's kinda of backwards. You make it sound like it was That's what she said. She said I have to like drag them kicking and screaming. <laughs> well, I I guess somehow she has to figure out a way to for them to bring their beer with them, you know, maybe, I, I don't know, a camel like a, pack or something. Yeah, know. put a backpack on. What do you think, Rodney? Good idea? <laughs> then, 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 then there's no excuse. But you know what? They had a lot of fun last week. Okay, so, Viva Colonia. <laughs> <clears throat> Ha! 
stuff there's a dance that goes with that last song it's called the hände zum himmel the hands to the heavens and it says we put our hands in the heavens and we act like we're happy which if you're drinking and you're at oktoberfest that's not hard to do and then you clap your hands together because that's just what people do and then no one's alone so anytime you hear that song jump up and start doing that the band will be like oh my gosh those people totally know this song and everybody else in the audience will be like oh my gosh that's what you're supposed to do and they'll stand up and do it too and and the next thing you know you'll have a polka mosh pit it'll be great has anybody ever been in a polka mosh pit before <laughs> well i've definitely seen people uh <laughs> clear the way when somebody <laughs> tries to body surf <laughs> yeah that happened at worst fest a few years ago that was one of the many strange things that happened during a an alex meixner show I, I mean the music is amazing the band is amazing the crowd but don't get up on the stage don't don't get on the stage and try, try to, to jump out in the yeah, crowd cause... yeah they're probably not going to catch you at least not at worst fest they're like oh hey there's a guy falling down <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just going to get crazier for the next couple of months. All right. Uh, what do we got next on What the do we have next on the request? list? Well, on the request list, we had a request for Edelweiss for Leslie. Um, and then um, I wrote a song, and we have a couple of other things that came in just today that I'd like to add in there. And, and we have some more videos. So why don't we show the, uh, the, uh, the second Alpha Music Cotton video that we have which is a nice little swing tune, a little Yiddish number by Mia Bistushane, and uh, some pretty good swing dancing couples in this video. And then we'll, we'll get back to our, uh, our set list. We'll probably do Edelweiss right after that. So here comes the Alpen Musikanten once again from the Wahlberg Nada Festival from last week over Labor Day weekend.
Hands with all the flipping lips. Wasn't that awesome? Exhilarating. Okay, there's two couples there in the video. The taller couple are our friends Cullen and Vanessa. Uh, they live in the Katy area, I believe, and they came all the way out to Wahlberg because they have a nice dance floor. And um, of course, all of us bands are going to be there. And um, the other little couple on the dance floor is Yvette and Nick Wilhelm. He's a uh, he's a doctor, um, and she used to be. I don't know if she still is involved, but she used to be um, one of the public what do you call that public relations public relations people for the city of Galveston and she uh, they live in Waco now so super super dancers and uh, really nice people both of those couples all right we had a request for Edelweiss for Leslie so we're gonna do that next and after that I'm gonna play a song that I wrote while Ross warms up the Alpine horn we'll bring that out for you too taking a long sip over there. Look at that. <laughs> Either that or he passed out in his paw on her. Or he's just stuck. Crazy bird.
that's Ross with the singing saw. Fiddling around in the tool shed, as usual. Actually, this week, on the one day that he didn't rehearse, he spent about eight hours um, removing single tiny little leaves from the yopon branches that he cut a couple of weeks ago to allow them to dry um, to make us some more yopon tea. And that was a long, patient process. Kind of messy, too. But the tea well, is really it, good. Unfortunately, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. He still has, has a truck bed worth of branches to go through. And he does it meticulously, piece by piece, by hand. Well, you don't want certain things in there that no, don't you belong. Don't. You don't want the berries. For sure, you don't want the berries in there. And, of course, twigs and bugs and other things that are on branches of trees that grow in your yard. Well, and then you have to get it all cleaned up, and then you have to roast it. Yep. And he does it all himself. So he wasn't fiddling around in the tool shed this week. He was fiddling around well, in the garage with the yopa. Actually, actually, what? when we were in Wahlberg, it was kind of humid out there, and that saw has a bad... Uh, habit of rusting when it gets humid outside yeah so I had to go after it with some steel wool and paste That's wax true. to get it back right. into condition again well speaking of Wahlberg <clears throat> last week it was Sunday evening it was a little bit late and a whole group of people from uh, Bremond Texas were there hanging out we I finally had a chance to go over and visit with them for a little bit and they had brought a special friend along this uh, young lady was standing on the table, and she was sipping beer out of one of my friend's hands. Uh, her name was Sally, and, uh, well, she speaks only foul language, but uh, she's, uh, she's a nice little girl otherwise, and uh, so are all the people that were with her. Well, I got home, and I've been home about 24 hours, and a song just popped in my head uh, for Sally, the beer-drinking chicken from Bremen, so... Here goes, hot off the presses. We hope you like it. I hope you like it. There's a beer drinking chicken from Bremen, that sleepy Polish Texas town. When she visits the beer garden, she really parties down. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen, now she's world renowned. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen. Sally loves to paint the town. Early in the morning when the rooster crows, Sally goes to work. Fresh eggs laid out for the family with a happy cluck, cluck, cluck. Catching bugs and weeding the garden and some time resting in the sun. But when evening comes, it's time to drink. Go out and have some fun. I can't read this tiny print. The beer drinking chicken from Bremen, that sleepy Polish Texas town. When she visits the beer garden, she really parties down. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen, now she's world renowned. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen. Sally loves to paint the town. She hops up to the bar and orders up a drink. She gets it for a peck. Her family and friends all gather around and go out to the deck. There's polka music playing, laughter fills the air, the sun is setting low. She sips her favorite cold Bach beer, she really steals the show. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen, that sleepy Polish Texas town. When she visits the beer garden, she really parties down. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen. Now she's world renowned. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen. Sally loves to paint the town. She's the beer drinking chicken from Bremen. Sally loves to paint the town. Fuck, 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 beer. <laughs> I mean, okay. 
Before I wrote the song, I wanted to make sure that beer was safe for chickens, and in very small amounts, yes, it is. Chickens are designed to pick up... Hi. <laughs> chickens are designed to uh, take care of some of those semi-fermented fruits that are left laying about on the ground I am not gonna fit on in farms there. and ranches. I'm going to have to rearrange some furniture here. But uh, anyway, so yes, chickens can have just a little bit of beer from time to time. And they love it. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, you're still going to need more. No, nope, you got space? Sort okay. of. You're going to have to get out of the way, though. Oh, I'm standing in front of you, aren't I? I could pretend to play the alcorn. They want to see you. They would not believe it's you because you're not even... <laughs> have some really large lungs to make the air go through that long tube. Well, are we ready for some button box? Ooh, yeah, let's do button box. And then and then we're going to do um, Heaven There Is No Beer and Flieger and Lead. Requests. Yeah, and, and Ich Liebe Dich and Major Tom and yeah. <laughs> so one gentleman on here said that their neighbor's chickens are so loud, they're thinking about giving them just a little bit of beer, see if it'll quiet them down a little bit. I'm not sure if that'll work, because when chickens drink beer in a group, I think they start dancing <coughs> on tables and swinging from rafters. So, <laughs> that or they think they're ducks and start but what, quacking. <laughs> but what, you know, they get quacked up. <laughs> but whatever you do, if you get a video of it, share it with us. <laughs> All right, so Ross has been working hard on the button box again this week. Um, it's one of those instruments that sometimes, well, it's still new to him. It's still, you've been practicing all the other instruments so much you had this one set down for a little while. Yeah. Which, if you can imagine, everything changing under your fingers on a constant basis. That's what happens here when he practices all three of his accordions. The uh, Russian bayon and the piano accordion and then the diatonic from Austria. Okay, so... Here well, not only do the buttons change, they the direction change. changes. When I bit. change the direction of the bellows, the buttons change. That's true. Yeah, with this completely. One. Yeah, with the with the Russian clarinet. So you have to know whether you're going in or out, and like a harmonica. Yeah. But the but the Russian chromatic doesn't do that. You you have no. phrasing with. The and the bellows. piano accordion doesn't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so the first song he's going to play for you is the Holzacker Boom. And uh, that means that it's time to chop wood with us. If you have a party with us coming up in the next few weeks, there is a good chance the button box will be there. Here's your chance to practice all the moves. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oktoberfest style. Yeah, we like to do all of our all of our songs and dances like mm. occupations. Okay, so here is a nice little shotish featuring Ross on that button diatonic. The blank. What's the name of it? Templer. Oh, Templer Borisher. Borisher. Now my hands are dirty. We'll go wash them. <laughs> Thank you. 
on the button box. Yeah, boy. So uh, we should do In Heaven There Is No Fear next. Because that was requested multiple times. And after that, Deborah and John are back from their anniversary dinner. So I want to play Ich liebe dich after that. Yeah, so they can dance. Happy anniversary, y'all. But of course, they like fear songs too. <clears throat> I think everybody I've met has this song in the top 10 of favorite German beer drinking songs. And the song was written in the 1950s for a movie called Die Fischerin von Bodensee. And the movie Die Fischerin von Bodensee was written based on a song called Die Fischerin von Bodensee. <laughs> I love German folk music. It's all about having a good time and pretty things in life. In heaven there is no beer, that's why we drink it here. you can't control and you just you know you're here now have a beer enjoy it be happy while you're here okay so we had a request for a love song for Deborah and John for their 20th anniversary congratulations guys so we're going 20th to, anniversary that's outstanding we're gonna play a little uh, two-step for uh, polishing that belt buckle or those later hosen or however it works, however you're dressed up tonight. A little song called Ich liebe dich. Dann haben wir Dennis 
erst den Tanz getanzt und war es meinem Herzen klar. Ich liebe dich. In meinen Träumen bist du du. anniversary y'all hey look little dipper woke up i guess he's ready for a second wind <laughs> i was wondering if you had anything to do with that or if he i don't know he just he's moving again so okay. i guess he well he... I, I noticed that earlier i didn't say anything i thought perhaps he passed out that you uh <laughs> helped him along but i guess I not know. He's, he's on his own See, the, the nice thing about the grapefruit rodler from Polliner is that um, 
It has a little bit less alcohol in it, so you can drink more of it, and it's hard to put down. So well, it goes down really easy. For somebody like me, instead of having half of a beer and falling down flat on my face, I can have a whole beer and still be mostly with it. Little Dipper, he can, well, he's, he's having more tonight than he normally would. He passed out, but he's already back up ready for some more, so he agrees. He always agrees. Anyway, it's really refreshing. The other night we had some Indonesian food. There's a great little restaurant in Houston on Bel Air and Highway 6 called the Rice Bowl. And if you go in there and you ask for the Indonesian menu, you can order a whole rice tafel. If you don't well, you know have what to that know, is, you have to know. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to know what it is. But just, just it's, point it's a and Dutch click. Thing. Just, just pick some stuff off of the menu, and and taste it because it's. If you've had Thai food and you like that, if you've had Indian food and you like that, if you've had Chinese food and you like that, you're going to like Indonesian food. There's well, a lot of peanut sauce stuff in it. There's a lot of coconut you curry wouldn't think sauce. It, I mean, uh, and it's hot. You would. Spicy. You wouldn't believe it, but it's actually part. Indonesian food is part of the Dutch. It is part of the Dutch culture. Culture and cuisine. Because the Dutch were seafaring, and that's where they went to uh, to make spice a lot of trades. Yeah, the Spice Islands. So, but anyway, what I'm, where I'm getting with this, try rice bowl if you get a chance. But what I'm getting with this is, we sat down to eat, and we're like, well, what beer is going to go good with this? Well, let's try the Pollen or Rodler and see how it goes. Oh my goodness, does it ever pair well with the Indonesian food? It's so perfect. It was it's really really good. We both gained some weight after that meal. <laughs> All right, so we also had a request for the Fliegerlied, which we should do right now. Are y'all ready for that? I mean, it's Oktoberfest. We're going to dedicate Fliegerlied to our friends who would have been attending the Addison Oktoberfest with us this weekend. Some of you are talking about maybe just going out there and walking the grounds in your trucked. Just, just to get some photos and to say I was there, even though the festival didn't happen. It's in our hearts. It's always there. And it should be back next year. So here's Flieger Lead for all of our friends who are thinking of going to Addison this weekend. We began in grass and shouts and I'm laying in the grass looking at the sky. Hey, look, that cloud looks like our ceiling fan. Dann fliegt ein Flieger vorbei, da wird ich sie genau. Hallo Flieger! Dann bist du auch noch dabei, da bin ich super drauf. Here we go, put your arms out! Die Flieg, 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 wie ein Flieger, bin so stork, 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 wie ein Tiger, hoch so groß, 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 wenn er geht auf, ist so hoch. To get kind of physical when Das ist Lustig comes around. We're going to make you work off those beer calories so you can have more. All right, we have
had some uh, other videos that we wanted to show, just a couple more, I think. I don't remember how many more are in the queue. And we still have a request for Major Tom, and I know my parents are out there, so that means there's a request for the xylophone. So we'll also get to that. Ah, rock me. Okay. Um, here is another folk dance. It's a modern one uh, that a lot of the groups are doing, and a lot of the bands are learning how to play this song. Our band doesn't play this song yet. We're talking about it. But our friends at Alpamisa Cotton have, a have a, uh, an arrangement for it. It's called Rock Me, and you can see the uh, new Brownfels German folk dancers are represented. The Texana Schuschupatler Verein are represented, and the Almrausch... Um, I can't remember. The, uh, how does it go? Almrausch Deutsche Volkstanzverein aus Dallas, Texas. They're all represented on the dance floor in this next little video with uh, Alpha Music Cotton playing Rock Me. <laughs> So you can see that that is definitely a more modern take on folk dancing. It's sort of a line dance style, and each group has their own um, their own version, their own uh, choreography for how to do it. Um, anyway, we had a request come in while that was playing for Maria Theresia, and uh, since um, that fits in with where we are right now, me needing to settle down for just a moment, and Ross having just the right vocals warmed we up. Hope. We hope. <laughs> we have uh, we have There's time for just a couple. There's something in the air tickling my throat. That, yeah, I've had the same issue today. Um, but we have just enough time for uh, about three more songs, and uh, we still have, I think, two more videos in the queue that we want to share with you. So 
Um, we're going to do Maria Theresia. We also had a request from Major Tom and a request for the Pie in the Face polka. So we will play those three songs and we'll also play the last couple of videos that we have to share with you tonight. Aus Maria Theresia, die Leibigen im Baum von Bitter und Frohne befreit. Dräng die Kunde davon in der Dörfer und Täler und über die Berge so weit. Und ein Bauer in Schöne Traum für die Bienzeit, der Zeit der Versus ist brach. Und dann ging er für Freude hinab in die ewige Freiheit der Berge und sah. Maria, Teresia, Maria, Maria, Teresia, Maria. Dann begann mit dem König von Preußen der Krieg in der Tat der gleich sieben Jahre. So geschah es auf einmal in Schlesien, der Mann aus der Rolle in Gefangenschaft war. Und die seltsame Kross lag die Freiheit, die Berge nach Heim in die Zeit, was er war. Aus die Feuer der Wacke gebrannt in der Schatte, der Kalt in den Himmel und Sonn. Maria, Teresia, Maria, Teresia. Wenn diesen Drohnen mit seinem Jolle gehört. Und er sagte, ich wüsste nicht keinen von meinen Soldaten, der mich zu verhüllt. Und er gab der Gefangenen bei die Frager in diesem und dreimal dann zieh. Und da kamen sie rings aus den Bergen und traten mit ihm für den Kaiser in Höhe.
at your head. <laughs> I'll be off. Okay, let's show the last couple of videos. And uh, I saw a comment from Annette. She's very happy that we're showing the videos from Wahlberg because she and Don were not able to come down. They're in the high risk group and they're still not going out. And that is why we're sharing the videos because we wanted to make sure that everybody got to enjoy a little bit of the fun, even if we didn't get to see you in person. Although, coming up very soon, we're gonna be going to some different regions of the country. Um, next, we, we're doing some private parties this weekend. Um, then we're gonna drive up to South Dakota and see Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse and we'll be visiting a few other things along the way. And then we'll be racing back down to Kansas City for next week, Thursday, to the Kansas City Beer Company, where we're going to be playing um, just a Thursday night at the Beer Garden. And it's free admission, so uh, call the Kansas City Beer Company if you're in that area. Make your reservation. They are taking reservations already at this point. And um, we hope to see you there. And Friday night, we'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma, at Seagie's Sausage Restaurant and Factory. Um, Seagies has been very generous with us in the past. They've uh, supplied us with practically a year's worth of, of sausages and summer sausages and things that um, that we can eat, which assorted German, assorted meat. German meats, and and it, it keeps us going, in, especially in those quiet months when there's not much coming in. So uh, they, I would say that they sponsor us in kind with with a lot of uh, great product that we're able to snibble on all year long. And um, then we have a couple more private parties and then we come back to Houston for another private party. And then we'll be back online on Wednesday, September 30th, partying with you. And we'll also be going through a website called Webtoberfest. So if you don't know anything about Webtoberfest yet, you can go to it. It's spelled just like it sounds. There's also a link to it on our website, prosgel.com. You can go and see what Webtoberfest is all about. There's probably gonna be bands from all over the world featured on there for their Oktoberfest online. So check that out. Anyway, here comes a couple more videos from Wahlberg. I don't, which one is this that's coming up next? This is the Wahlberg Boys. This is the Wahlberg Boys. Ronnie with a yodeling canary stuck in his throat. He is probably the most amazing yodeler you'll ever hear in the United States. Here's the Wahlberg Boys. <laughs> short short clip from Wahlberg this video will teach you beer garden etiquette 101 how to pound the tables
Yep, that's how it's done. That's how we pound the tables at Oktoberfest. That's what it's like to be sitting right there with a whole bunch of people that know how to pound on the tables. <laughs> and if you don't spill your beer, you've, uh, you've made it. All right, so we have a pie in the face polka for Amanda and Cody. We're playing for their There's a Baby Brewing Oktoberfest baby shower on Saturday, which we're really excited for. Um, we have a little surprise set up for them as well at the Oktoberfest at their, at their place. And uh, anyway, so they asked for the pie in the face polka and it happens to be one of my favorite songs because Henry Mancini wrote it. I like a lot of his music. So does Ross. Some of Ross's favorite movies are the Pink Panther movies. <laughs> Prostjaw.com to our tip boot. We have space in there and would love to have a little bit of um, whatever you're able to send to us. We're still, we're, we're getting some gigs now. We're getting to go out in public and we can't wait to see everybody. But uh, we are keeping these online shows going as well because we know some of you can't get out. And um, well, this is also still helping support us keeping things going around here. Absolutely. Allows us to pay our bills, allows yeah. us to... Uh, pay our taxes which are <laughs> those are coming in January coming in yeah. January <laughs> I've been doing the books but anyway um, many of you have already been helping to support us for this crazy ridiculous hidden blessing of a year I'm sure that there's a hidden blessing somewhere behind this dark cloud that has been 2020 but um, and we thank the Lord for that we thank the Lord for all of you guys uh, let's get toasted together again and then we're gonna do major Tom with the dance moves so you guys can all Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Uns, zwei, drei, super! 
Ticka tacka ticka tacka! Oh. <laughs> You've missed your part. It's almost empty. Ticka tacka ticka tacka! Hi, hi, hi! Ticka tacka ticka tacka! Hi, hi, hi! Prost! Prost! I'm gonna have to get a refill. That's how I can tell how long the show is going, how much beer's left in my mug. All right, so dance moves for Major Tom. We're gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. Warm up those muscles, Stanzi Elf. This song is out of this world. <laughs> all for tonight from Ross and Valina of Dostas Lustig in the Lustig House. We look forward to seeing you out there in person very soon this next week. Otherwise, we'll see you back here online on Wednesday, September 30th. And uh, in New Braunfels, we're going to be in New Braunfels on October 7th. Wednesday, October 7th. That just came in the last couple of days. At uh, for, Krause's. Yeah, at Krause's. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that too. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to sign off because the beer's empty. Cheers, y'all. <laughs>